Swainaina, I am from Kenya, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and I also am the chair of the board of Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital, the largest hospital in Nairobi City County government, uh, run by Governor Sakaja. Now, what I've seen in the film is absolutely familiar to me. We have villages in our country where it's not accessible by road because the road is muddy, vehicles can't even reach there, you've got to carry your patient on a good and stretcher that is just made by villagers to carry somebody to get them to the road so they can get a motorbike, we call it border border, so they can be rushed to a hospital. You can imagine what that does to a pregnant woman or a baby that was sick the entire night. It is rainy, you can't get a mode of transport at night and they don't even have access to electricity. But of course my government is working so hard to make sure there's the last mile electricity reach to everybody. Now when I come to Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital, a low resourced uh, locality where that hospital serves, we deliver a thousand babies in a day, in a month. Sorry. And then what happens is that we have been struggling with power because then we have blackouts all the time that are very frequent and that makes us switch to diesel or powered generators that are such an expense. Okay. And now we have a lot of sun in Kenya. Why can't we really switch into solar power? powered energy. One for efficiency, two is clean energy in itself, three, it, the sun is free, we are not paying for it. But I, I think the investment could be the solar panel, somebody to fix for that system to work. When we deliver a thousand babies in a month, surely we can have a better design of our system within the labor rooms that is energy efficient. And that's what has been exciting on this journey. And thank you so much honestly for that feeling because it just reminded me of home and that I chair that hospital board. I can relate to all of this. And one of my major expenses is that diesel when I go to buy to make sure that the hospital is running with power. Sometimes we don't sleep because we are worried that we might run out of the diesel because there's no electricity, it's a blackout like 24 hours, but the hospital has to run. So for me to lose sleep over that, and yet I can have a solution that can be long-term and sustainable in the future, I think that's where really we need to go to. And I'm going to go back to my governor and say, Governor Sakaja, we need to solar power this facility, and that's my intention. Thank you.